of our very important 2020 election. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. If you count the votes that came in late, we're looking at them very strongly. But a lot of votes came in late. I've already decisively won many critical states, including massive victories in Florida, Iowa, Indiana, Ohio. To name just a few, we won these and many other victories despite historic election interference from big media, big money, and big tech. As everybody saw, we won by historic numbers. And the pollsters got it knowingly wrong. They got it knowingly wrong. We had polls that were so ridiculous, and everybody knew it at the time. There was no blue wave that they predicted. They thought there was going to be a big blue wave. That was false. It was done for suppression reasons. But instead, there was a big red wave. And it's been properly acknowledged, actually, by the media. They were, I think, very impressed. But that was after the fact. That doesn't do us any good. We kept the Senate, despite having twice as many seats to defend as Democrats, and in a really uh, much more competitive states. We've uh, we did a fantastic job with the Senate. I think we're very proud of what's happened there. We had many more seats to defend. They spent almost $200 million on Senate races in South Carolina and Kentucky alone, two races, and hundreds of millions of dollars overall against us. At the national level, our opponent's major donors were Wall Street bankers and special interests. Our major donors were police officers, farmers, everyday citizens. Yet, for the first time ever, we lost zero races in the House. I was talking to Kevin McCarthy today. He said he couldn't believe it. Zero races. Very unusual thing. Zero. And actually won many new seats, with, I think, many more on the way. This was also the year of the Republican woman. More Republican women were elected to Congress than ever before. That's a great achievement. I won the largest share of non-white voters of any Republican in 60 years, including historic numbers of Latino, African American, Asian American, and Native American voters, uh, the largest ever in our history. We grew our party by 4 million voters, the greatest turnout in Republican Party history. Uh, Democrats are the party of the big donors, the big media, the big tech it seems. And Republicans have become the party of the American worker, and that's what's happened. And we're also, I believe, the party of inclusion. As everyone now recognizes, media polling was election interference, in the truest sense of that word, by powerful special interests. These really phony polls, I have to call them phony polls, fake polls, were designed to keep our voters at home, create the illusion of momentum for Mr. Biden and diminish Republicans' ability to raise funds. They were what's called suppression polls. Everyone knows that now. And uh, it's never been used to the extent that it's been used on this last election. To highlight just a few examples, the day before election, Quinnipiac, which was wrong on every occasion that I know of, had Joe Biden up by five points in Florida. And they were off by 8.4 points. And I won Florida easily, easily.